I know it's been early days so far in the season, but what's it been like driving under the, the name and the, and the banner of Liverpool Football Club? Oh, it's been, I've been really proud to do it, if I'm honest. Uh, they obviously won the championship last year, so the pressure was quite high. Uh, we had a bit of a nightmare first round at Silverstone, but since then we've been really quick, so we're, we're climbing our way back up the table. So uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. Yeah, you must be happy with the way things went in France over the weekend. That was perhaps your best of the three so far. Yeah, I, th I actually think the last two, uh, Aston in Holland and uh, Manicor in France, we made the super final in both. Uh, so we've scored good points and uh, now, like I said, the pressure is just to keep on doing that every weekend and hope the other guys have a few DNFs like we had at Silverton. How disappointed were you with that start a couple of, uh, a couple of months ago? I was devastated. I mean, we, we qualified on, on uh, the second row in third place after no testing and not, never having driven the car, so I knew we were quick and then to have, uh, make, well, make two mistakes in the first two races and come away with no points was, was hard to take, especially with a seven-week gap after the first race. Uh, but luckily we, uh, we sorted that out the last two rounds. But definitely on an upward curve now, you'd think? Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, well, we've, I think we jumped six people in the championship in the last over one weekend, so I think we've got, now got to try and uh, kind of take points off the next five and climb our way back up to the, uh, the first uh, two or three in the championship. Explain next up, what are your hopes for that? Uh, well, it's a circuit I've never been to, so it's going to take a few laps to learn, but uh, we're normally quite good at uh, learning circuits, so it should be good fun. As you mentioned earlier, big shoes to fill in, in Adrian's. Has that been a, a challenge as well? Yeah, it has been, but I've raced with Adrian. I know he's, he's obviously very quick, and this is uh, my first year in the championship, um, so I think we're just going to work one step at a time, but um, we're quick enough to do it, and it'll happen, so I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So what's the ultimate aim for this season? Well, after the, the annoying start that we had at Silverstone, it's going to be uh, probably quite difficult to win the championship, but never impossible. So we're going to try and obviously finish in the top three where the big prize money is, and uh, that would be a great goal if we could do that by the end of the year. Has it been a big stepping stone for you, a big learning curve, I suppose? You stepped up from the, the Renault series, of course. Yeah, it's not. it was pretty much at the same level as the World Series by Renault, but these cars are more powerful, heavier, more physical to drive. So, yeah, it's been challenging, and uh, obviously with the new circuits they've chucked in as well, it's going to be uh, an interesting remainder of the season. And fun? Oh, it's, you can, you've only got to look at the car. You can obviously see it's fun, and uh, we go to some great places. We you know, get to entertain a lot of people, so, of course, it's fantastic. And what have you made of the whole Super League Formula uh, series uh, and the concept? Is it working? It is. I mean, it's only in its third year. Um, you know, very few championships have, have done what they've done in three years, so I think they should be really proud of it. And I think um, once it starts snowballing and people realise the concept, I think it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be huge.